Now, let me explain what this is about, and he is the one who knows about the prizes. Let me rapidly tell you about the IPv6 challenge. Where is the remote control? So here we are. First of all, many people heard about the IPv6 challenge, but they don't know what this is about. The IPv6 challenge, we can say in general terms, is a way of promoting the development of IPv6, step by step. This is what it is about. In principle, this is an initiative created by the technical community, which is being promoted by the R&D area of LACNIC to distinguish and the task of organizations that have started deploying IPv6. Who can participate? All organizations, internet service providers, universities, networks, governments of the LACNIC region who are interested in deploying IPv6 and who have who are re really planning or projecting to do so, really. Organizations also who have deployed IPv6 but still do not offer the service with IPv6 support. So there is still a path to complete until IPv6 is available for the users and services and or et cetera in the network. Or also organizations that have demonstrated recent implementations of services with IPv6 support. So with this, we are trying to make those people who are carrying out this type of work in their respective countries to let us know so that this challenge can motivate them to continue growing with what they were doing or planning. Sometimes you need to have a driver to finish something. Well, I have to clean my house or whatever, but if tomorrow someone is coming to visit, I will clean my house because I'm expecting a visitor. So this can serve as a motivation to advance further. How can you participate? There is an invitation to participate. This is published in the list and is disseminated in different ways. So those who are interested can register. And the challenge lasts about eight to 10 weeks. So we are speaking about advancing a bit more with IPv6 over that period of time. So once you register for the challenge, what do you have to do? You have to participate in the webinars. We organize one or two webinars to explain and receive feedback on what we're doing. And you have to deliver. There are two deliverables for this. There are two deliverables because of the following. The first deliverable is where you say what you expect to do with it during the challenge. For example, I expect to finish setting up IPv6 in the entire backbone of the network or in the DNS or in the web service. So this is what will be included in the first report. And in the second report, I have to say that from what I expected to do, what did I achieve over this period of time? So this allows us to determine the progress and the possibility of implementing what you did over that period of time. I think this is a way of little by little promoting the development of adoption of IPv6 in different fields. And this is not only important in the sense of seeing the deployment of IPv6 in the major operators, but also we'd like to see it in the deployment of smaller organization or even community networks. So little by little, we increase the penetration of IPv6 in the region. So this would be a positive leap, and it is 
for that reason that we continue promoting this challenge. There is a committee in charge of this uh, challenge. These are Asael Fernandez from Mexico, Carmen Dennis from Mexico, Nicolas Antonello from Uruguay, Alejandro Costa from Venezuela, and myself, Jorge Villa from Cuba. So among all of us, we try to promote this challenge so that those who participate feel motivated to continue advancing. Of course, one, this is just a seed that we plant. And in the period of 10 to 8 weeks, you tell us what you achieved. But you also have a driver to continue working on that. So the next slide is the award. It's your turn. So thank you, Jorge, for your excellent explanation of the IPv6 challenge. So those of you who wish to learn more about this, these are two links where you have in the first one, general information, and the second is uh, frequently asked questions on this challenge. Normally, the questions are the same, so hopefully all the questions have been answered. Otherwise, th we are available to clarify any questions. So let us announce the winners. We know that this, uh, this is the last segment of today's afternoon. Let me announce the winners. There are two winners. The second place was the implementation of IPv6 in Vectra in Brazil. Unfortunately, none of the two winners could come to today's event, but they will be informed. Congratulations, really, for the deployment you achieved in Vectra on IPv6. And let me quote a couple of words that Jorge mentioned. Basically, we don't always want someone who's starting from scratch, but sometimes there are companies who have a little IPv6 and wish to expand this, and this is also valid. So congratulations to Vectra in Brazil, and the first place is for C Telecom Brazil. They did an outstanding job. They made significant progress between the first deliverable and the second one. So we noted a really interesting progress from the first to the second one. We could verify the submitted information. So a big round of applause for the first and second awards. Just a comment. During the assessment process of the challenge, as we have to have evidence on the progress, you just, you, it's not just saying that you achieved this, but if you say you're going to publish IPv6, then the DNS, well, it should be there. So those are the things, the small things that you have to do. So little by little, we have more IPv6 in the region. So that's it. I guess you're all tired. Thank you very much, everyone.